God is so good. God is so faithful. And as I've been saying, every time I give you an update, it's not to minimize how hard, how difficult. And yet, every hour, God is there for us, and we do rely on him. Um, my heart is full of just really wanting to ask you guys to pray for um, Skylar, my daughter-in-law, on Thursday on the 18th. She's going to have open heart surgery and replace a valve, and she really needs your prayers, and we're all praying and believing and hoping that she just sent a text today showing a picture of all of us together, and she said, we're going to take another updated picture of everyone together someday, and we're both going to have the strength, Dad. So both Al and Skylar are going to be struggling in these next days and weeks ahead, so just be praying, please. Also, um, we just praise God because there's an opening, became um, open, uh, so there was a cancellation for Al to have a surgery, a, a re, uh, procedure, a major procedure that is for his mitral valve clip that is going to really help, hopefully, with um, this. The fluid keeps on backing up into his lungs, and so I'm going to read part of his, like, um, sharing on a, and he talks about that, like he had to have fluid, um, you know, taken off of him because it keeps on backing up his heart is weak and his fluid keeps on backing into his lungs and so it makes it like him out of breath and everything so we're taking one day at a time um so pray for al's mom too they didn't think that she's barely alive she's barely hanging on but you know she, we thought that it was going to be you know the other day but it's going to be any hour we know these are the last hours of her life, and it's very hard for us not to be there with the family, you know, with the brothers and everything during this time. But um, even in that, God is just working. They were, you know, Al was able to talk to her and again and say how much he loves her and appreciates her, and, and she with him too. And he was able to tell her that he's going to be having this surgery that could make a big difference for him gaining his strength back um i just want to praise god because there's been so many rainbows in the midst of this storm um my daughter krista who's here today she came from australia to be with us these last few weeks and she'll be going home in a few weeks and i just really praise god and my sons have been there for us and and then you've church family who have all been there for us, and we really thank you for all your prayers. Um, it's not a coincidence that we're doing a devotional. It's called Praise in the Midst of the Storm. Yesterday, that storm just like seemed to come out of nowhere, and it was like, whoa. <laughs> we were driving, and you know, I just saw how it's just like sometimes that's what happens. Sometimes we're like going along, and we don't realize there's going to be a storm. Um, this is what Al wrote on it. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. And so it is with you. This heart attack and, and over two months in the hospital is the storm and what seems like a long, long, long wait for me to recover. Yesterday they took three liters of fluid from my lungs. I left that procedure feeling wasted in severe pain, I felt like giving up. In that, again, I was in that place of surrender and of faith. God met me again. I cannot share it enough. He met me in several ways, himself and the people who cared. And opening my eyes to see that God is at work, I needed a renewed attitude to follow his leading, I needed to start praising him. Now I am again kicking out the negative thoughts and embracing him as my living hope. Um, my sister Gail then wrote after that, um, she says, Al, it humbles and inspires me to see your faith in these dark places. 
Although you're able to glory in suffering, as Paul says, we know that this is a lonely place on a road only you can walk, a place no one else but Jesus can travel alongside. You have described your strength in weakness in such sincere and simple ways, and it touches my soul. This is a part two I want you all to know, that in the spirit, we are all crowding into your hospital room right now, singing songs of praise. I'm sorry. It's hard to see with my eyes blurred. (laughs) As believers, we are one in the Lord with you and lifting you and Lori in prayer, thoughts and love. We feel so helpless, and yet we are strong in faith, knowing this life is rich, fleeting, and stand in this old hymn, I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. Thank you all for the way that you've been standing with us. And I, we feel you in that hospital room. You too, Shonda. And I just love all of you. Thank you so much. God bless each of you.